Alexis Sanchez scores 98-minute penalty and dramatic Arsenal win over Burnley. With the pack chasing Chelsea dropping points all around them this weekend, a win, any win, even a boring, routine, nothing remarkable win, would have been welcomed by Arsenal. But a victory of this theatrically charged fashion sent the Emirates crowd into a rare frenzy. Humdrum, run of the mill, this was not. Much of the most captivating drama was condensed into the seven and a bit minutes of stoppage time. Until then Arsenal had been leading Burnley, protecting an arrow lead with ten men after Granit Xhaka sending off. The mood lurched one way as Burnley were awarded a penalty. Petr Sack made contact with his hand but not strongly enough as Ashley Barnes equalised. Burnley's players were overjoyed. Arsenal's felt the fear. Arsene Wenger was sent from the dugout for letting his emotions out on the fourth official. Extraordinarily, the mood lurched again in the final seconds as Ben Mikala on Kasi Ilni in the face with a high foot. Another penalty. Now it was Burnley's turn to dread the game being snatched from them, and the reaction was intensified by complaints that the Arsenal defender was in an offside position when he caught him. Alexis Sanchez took the responsibility with the first as he dinked the ball straight down the middle. Once the dust had settled, at the end of it all, while Burnley were entitled to feel deeply disappointed Arsenal showed the character to take on some adversity and come out of it sitting second in the Premier League. Sean Dyche generously recognised that. Credit to them they didn't stop either. They kept coming with ten men. Naturally he was galled to see a precious point on the road, something Burnley have found difficult to come by, disappearing in such difficult circumstances. But Deitch is very much from the school that whatever doesn't break you makes you stronger. You get a dent but you don't get broke, he said. Burnley put a great deal of effort into the game. Once they settled down after a flurry of early chances for Arsenal they found a more resilient structure and were able to threaten on the counter-attack. For all the glitz of Aaron Ramsey's Rabona cross, Olivier Giroud's attempted overhead or Masatoso's deft flick, Burnley kept diligently picking up the pieces, and the readiness of Andre Gray and Barnes to spring forward kept Arsenal on their toes. Just before half-time Sack had to come out bravely to be first in a race with Gray to get to George Boyd's teasing cross. Arsenal tested Burnley, with Sanchez the chief danger man, and the resistance was broken from a sad piece, as Shikodrin Mustafi expertly steered Oso's corner at the inside netting of the far post. It was a fine header, the Germans' first goal for the club since signing last summer from Valencia. A relatively comfortable situation suddenly became awkward when Zaka was sent off in the 64th minute for a clumsy tackle on Steven Differ. Having lost the ball the Swiss midfielder tried to win it back but the challenge was late and with feet off the ground. Zaka will be banned for four games, having already been sent off this season, by the same referee, John Moss, incidentally, against Swansea City in October. Wenger's patience with Saka wore noticeably thin. He has to control his game and not punish the team with a lack of control and his tackling, he said afterwards. With the extra body Burnley stepped up a gear. Defer tested Sack with a free kick. Dean Marney raised the temperature with a hefty scissor challenge to stop Ozil on the break. Sanchez was back in his own box making emergency clearances. On came Joey Barton and Sam Vokes to try to turn the screw. Arsenal found respite and Francis Coquel in and Danny Welbeck threatened the killer second just before the end of regulation time, before the Helter Skelter dramatics took over as the 90 minutes ticked onto overtime. When Coquel and shopped at Barnes and the penalty was awarded, Wenger's outburst ensured it would not only be Zaka who would feel a shit at the end of it all. The manager later expressed his remorse after being sent from the touchline for a verbal exchange with fourth official Anthony Taylor. I regret everything. I should have shut up, gone in and go home. I apologize for that. Wenger was in the bowels of the Emirates when the drama twisted again as Moss gave a penalty Arsenal's way. We had to work really hard to get something and we get back in it. 
You can't believe the decision, lamented Deitch. Sanchez delivered the game's final devastating swipe from the spot. A cool penalty? Too cool, said Wenger. Sanchez missed penalties for us. In fact he was not the first penalty taker for us today, it was Gerard. He was second. But as long as you score you just say well done. It was an intense game, an unlikely win. Not for the first time this season Winger has watched his team grab late points. Bad for the heart heart, not so bad for the league table.